here in California for elephants, tigers, bears, a lot of exotic animals, and I can tell you right now that there's no state-of-the-art keeping animals in captivity. Uh, the state-of-the-art is Zimbabwe and India and, and the wild, you know, up in the hills of Virginia, but not in uh, cages. But then when you take it to another level and you make the cages small, and you don't let the animals out of the cages, and you have to travel every single day. You have to use we weapons on the uh, on the animals. We wanted to bring some some uh, some of the tools of the trade of the circus with us today, but uh, Tim was told that he would be arrested and put in prison for 20 years if he brought a bullet or a stun gun into the uh, chambers here. So. And you can help by presenting the facts. Americans love animals. 70% of the homes in the United States have at least one pet. And a vast majority of, of Americans are totally opposed to animal cruelty. They will respond when they're aware. That's how we've made advances on behalf of animals, by making people aware. That's all they need. Then they will act. So I beseech you to present the facts. And, and, and just to make this something that we can all understand. Let me and and uh, they've been close enough to each other in California that I, I started working with them at the uh, policy sanctuary with the elephants and the tigers and lions. Uh, I've, uh, a lot of my clients over the years living in Texas have been traveling shows, private individuals such as what you just saw happen in Ohio, uh, that have private animals in their backyard. And, uh, let me put this perspective, which always helps me, to explain why it is so bad to keep lions and tigers and elephants in the facilities they keep them in, in traveling shows. Imagine living all of your life on a queen-size or king-size bed. That's the space we're talking about. That's the space that's written into the regulations that they're allowed to do regulations that USDA has to inspect. And then, as, as, as Jan said, every 10 days, 7, 10 days, they have to move to a new locale, a different inspector, a different local law that has to come into play, local animal control. There is no way you can provide the, the, the physical, psychological, social well-being of any wild animal in a traveling situation. You cannot do it. I've treated the abuse that's occurred uh, from uh, chains, from, uh, from hooks. I've treated uh, uh, the feet when they're standing chained so they can't get away from their own urine, elephants. And, uh, and I've treated the cats that are breaking their teeth off on the bars because they're chewing at the bars. Um, it's, it's, it's wrong. <laughs> and I think if the American public actually, I hope that if the American public actually knew how severe of a life these poor creatures live, uh, we would stop it. Um, I think real educators have to overcome what children see in the circus. It would be better if they didn't even have an experience with an elephant or a tiger or a lion if that's the first experience. Uh, there are no gray areas in, in this. Uh, you know, in research and in other industries where people are worried about, uh, about animal welfare, this isn't going to save your grandmother's life. It's not going to advance the science in any way. All it is is for our entertainment, and it's a it's a horrible thing to put animals through. Uh, I see animals in captivity on a daily basis. I work with the elephants personally, trim their feet, do the training. Uh, I have a lot of empathy for the animals that we take in.